Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel, We The Wolfmans. We are building our second custom dream home and today we take you back again to continue our on-site construction process and specifically the concrete forming um, and waterproofing of our foundation walls. Just to recap, in our last video, we kicked off the home construction process by demolishing the house that was already on the lot and then bringing in the excavator to dig and excavate for the hole where our new house is going to be built. And then finally, we finished off with pouring the foundation for our footings. So today we're gonna stand up our foundation walls, basically our basement walls. So let's take you there and we'll see what comes next. All right, so we got our uh, our wall forms being delivered today, which is pretty awesome. So this is the next step. Basically, those huge wooden walls uh, are going to get built on top of our foundation uh, or on top of our footings, I guess, right where those rebars are. So they're going to build those, and once those are built and together, then they're going to fill them with rebar and fill that with uh, with concrete to basically pour are uh, the, the, the foundation walls of the house. So it's a pretty exciting day. Cool. Loading the forms into the site. Nicely done. A little sunny back there, so a little tough to see, but... It's freaking awesome. I'm pretty geeked out on this stuff, so I think it's pretty cool. We are getting some walls today, which is pretty awesome. The, uh, so these right here, these wooden things are the forms. They basically create a mold uh, before the concrete is going to be poured. So what they're doing right now, this is the outside wall, or the exterior form. And then in the inside, I'm going to zoom in here. They're basically creating this grid full of steel rebar and that's what's going to help support the concrete and keep it strong. So basically what they're going to do is they're going to build that grid and then put the walls on the inside or the forms back on the inside as well. And then once the forms are all in place, then they're going to come to the concrete truck and pour uh, our actual walls. And then they'll be able to remove these guys and, and we'll have some walls. Yeah, this is the start of our structure. Pretty awesome. So look at this. I'm standing in the neighbor's backyard looking onto my site and what is right in there? We've got a skunk. <laughs> got a call this morning from the guys. They're still working on the site. But we got a skunk that decides to crawl into the site. I'm trying to figure out its way out. I don't know how we're gonna help it out. I feel terrible. Just hope it doesn't spray because it gets pissed off, but we got to kind of create a ramp. Hopefully we'll save you, skunk. All right, we are on site. We're pouring some walls today. Woo! So we've got everything set up here. We got the dump truck. Dumping some concrete into the pump truck. And now we got the pump truck. Starting to pour. Starting to pour. Guys are just starting back there, getting ready to get going. This is how it's done. And they used to have to do this stuff by hand. It's unbelievable the world we live in today. Pretty cool. And now, as we walk by, all of our walls are almost done. Pretty cool. We are here. I love how I'm literally standing here through the neighbor's <laughs> bushes. <laughs> through the neighbor's bushes because there's no other ways to film. Uh, so we're coming to take a look. Forming, pouring some concrete, pouring some walls. Pretty awesome. Whoa, Leo's Hello, looking at the Leo's construction site. Meeting. What did they do here? Did they pour the foundation? Look at what they did. Let's get close. These forms are now filled with smooth concrete. We poured all the concrete today. Can't believe they 
did this in like two days. It's unbelievable speed. I'm so impressed. We also had a skunk on site today, literally in the pit. And then we got Leo coming to inspect everybody's work. Well, right, buddy? Leo, what are they doing? Look, are they clearing it up? Are they putting all well, the... Leo's pretty interested in this boom on the truck. So they poured the foundation. This is going to be basically our basement walls that are uh, supporting the rest of the walls the and the rest of the house. house. Yeah. Eventually they will take the forms, the wooden forms away. Those were really only there um, so they could pour the foundation. All right, taking a video. Look at this, guys. Could, can't actually believe how fast they did this. If anyone's wondering what these... Uh, little black dots are so those were for the rod holes to keep the uh, the rebar in place and then once they remove those then they just have to I guess uh, put a, a liquid membrane on it to make sure that there's no uh, water penetration but yeah we got our basement walls three days <laughs> unbelievable love it good job guys okay so as you can see here right here is basically the black tar membrane that's sp essentially spray painted uh, onto the concrete, and it's complete. And it's, it's, it acts as a waterproofing membrane, uh, you know, to make sure no water gets through the concrete and into the house. So, uh, back black membrane goes first, and then on top of that, they put the dimple board. Uh, the dimple board is essentially on the inside, almost like a giant plinko board, uh, which helps funnel funnel um, water down to the bottom of the concrete, which is where your weeping tiles sit. Weeping tile is basically just like a, like a six inch tube, which sucks up any moisture that's on the bottom, runs it to your sump pit, which is basically a pump that shoots all that water away from your house. So on top of it, you have some stone for, to help with the free drainage for the water to seep through, but nothing else so it doesn't get blocked. Um, and then that gets pumped out. All right, we are, we are slinging some stone this morning. Covering up those weeping tiles for drainage. Good stuff. So thanks for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you can continue following along our journey as we build our dream home. And tune in next week as we continue the construction process. Bye guys. See ya.